Welcome to our certified organic pig farm. This is just another way of raising pigs in Australia. The type of piggery that we have here is a certified organic, totally free range pig operation. Some of the day to day activities on the farm are things like checking the sows and piglets, um, checking on all of the different groups of pigs, um, feeding, mixing grain for the pigs, checking their water, irrigating paddocks. We got into pig farming um, from being into a cattle operation, so we wanted to raise pigs basically the way that we raise cattle and we also wanted to connect customers or, or the end user more with the way that the, their meats were being raised to educate people as to how animals can be raised and, and to um, let them know that they can select different ways of animals being raised. So we, we wanted that point of difference when we got into pigs. I think people that say that pork farmers mistreat their animals are maybe a little bit ignorant to um, all of the activities that are necessary on a farm. Jack and I usually work 10 or 12 hours a day just checking on the, the pigs, making sure they're all healthy, um, trying to keep the nutrition right for them. Um, we don't see them as being uncomfortable. Um, we provide shelter for them while they're outside. We provide wallows. And we provide nutritional food for them. And basically they show us that they're quite happy, very happy. The type of customers that we are appealing to is people that are interested in the certified organic pork. But even more so than that, we appeal to a gourmet market as well because the Berkshire pig is known as a very uh, flavoursome and a gourmet type of animal. We use a rotational grazing system um, with the irrigation land or with the pastures, um, whether it be irrigation or the dry land pastures. Um, and we do this so that we don't need to keep ploughing up and replanting them every year. I believe that um, all farmers are custodians of the land and should take the responsibility of that um, full on and, and, and be aware that everything that we do, all of our decisions, directly impact the land that we're on. I think that there's a big future for our farm. Um, as more people become aware or want to know where their food comes from, as well as because it's such a quality product, I believe that um, we can expand both of our domestic market and our export. We're very proud to be dealing with Aubrey Allen. They are the only catering butcher that we supply in the country that has 100% gills. We have approximately 2,000, just over 2,000 sows. Uh, we produce pigs outside. Everything is born outside, reared outside and stays outside for the whole of its life. That is the reason free range pork is, is better because, because it's outside, it's running free all the time and it's a little bit older when it um, matures. And because it's older, it's got just a little bit more flavour that gives it the extra special edge. Uh, the pig that's outside, because it's running all the time, it's exercising the muscles and the muscles is what is eaten. Uh, and there is a better muscle development because those pigs do exercise full time all time. We're on this South Wales coast, um, right near the sea, and the benefits we get from that are the sandy land, the salt air, and the fresh air. The pigs are very, very healthy. If you didn't have very sandy land, um, the pigs after, last night we had one third of an inch of rain. Those pigs will not be up to the middles of the tummies in mud. That is vital because, all right, yes, we are in the summertime here, but after a third of an inch of rain, if we'd had a lot of clay subsoil, then they would be very deep in mud and that just would be totally undesirable for the pigs. And I wouldn't want to keep pigs in that way. We are a truly family business. The whole business is run by our family. It was started by myself and my wife. Uh, we have then got two sons. One is in charge of production. He runs all the pigs outside, that's Stuart. Alistair is now in charge of marketing and so we are a truly family business and we believe in the family business. Uh, we employ about 20 odd people and we're very lucky with the quality of the people we employ. We do spend a lot of time and money as a professional business to um, educate them in the correct 
procedures in livestock production because uh, uh, that's important today. The people like to know that the pigs are reared in a way which they would seen and deemed to be friendly and good for the pig. There's too many of the pigs that are put on the market today where nobody cares how they're produced. Most of the European pigs that come in are, are produced to standards that are not allowed in this country, never mind the even higher standards that we produce our free range pork to. What you're getting to crisp is the rind. The rind is outside because they're not closeted up inside in an indoor shed on concrete. They're outside all the time. The rind gets a better finish to it and you can definitely get a better crackling on the rind on free range pork. We do rotate this, the, the pigs are on the land for two years and then it goes to arable cropping for four years before we come back onto that same soil. And we actually put natural fertiliser with the pigs back into the land which helps the subsequent crops to grow. We have to rotate the land with other arable crops to break the disease barrier to come back and we're clean land to come back onto. The average age that we send our pigs to slaughter is around about 24 weeks which is just under six months. The breed that we have is a crossbred it's a combination of there's large white and land race, there's Duroc and there's Piatron. Uh, the Duroc is in there for the hardiness because they're outside all the time. The land race is in there for the length of loin. The Piatron is in there for the shape and general piece of the ham. And the large white is in there for the general growth. And that's the reason we have a combination and it's finally done, uh, done to precision all the time. And that's the reason that we have the pig that we have and the shape we have. We're very proud to be able to produce pigs for Aubrey Allen, the chef's butcher, and yours too. Well, we're here in East Yorkshire, and I'm speaking to Ian, who is the field manager for this unit. Tell me about the unit. Uh, the unit, this is a, a thousand sows outdoor unit. Uh, covering roughly about 130 acres actually with you know pigs on the on the ground with all the paddocks. This is a batch system where uh, you know th this week we're serving animals, next week we'll be farrowing and the week after that we'll be weaning. You know, so it's about 1400 piglets off those animals. You know, they're born on the site and then they're transported onto straw growing units in close proximity to this unit. So at uh, the present full-time staff here we, we have four on, and then high peak times where we're weaning will be another two or three extra men. Some fine looking stock, what do we have here? What we have, these are in pig sows waiting to go into uh, farrowing in about another six weeks time. Uh, these are a Duroc land race cross. We use the Duroc because it gives it, they're more hardier for outside, they're stronger in the leg. So what are the welfare standards that you're producing to? We're producing to the freedom food standards and in fact we're actually in some respect better than freedom food standards. It's a mainstay uh, of our business. We're always trying to keep one step ahead. We're always looking at you know, stress levels uh, of animals, how the best way to handle, move, treat them. If we have high welfare standards, we're going to get the production. The higher the welfare, the better the production. It goes hand in hand. We run individual farrowings, uh, so there's one, one sow per arc. Basically, we can look after them better as individuals rather than in groups. Tell me about the health and the welfare of the piglets. Uh, we don't tail dock, we don't teeth, we don't castrate. And what about vaccinations? Vaccination, vaccinations are done at weaning, when we actually yeah, clip up the piglets and take them back to the farm. What are we feeding the pigs on this unit? It is a, a wholesome cereal based ration. Wheat, barley, uh, maize, uh, no animal byproducts. And what's this type? Uh, those are sow rolls. We feed those to uh, uh, pregnant animals out in the field. The large rolls, uh, so the sows can find them, uh, and all being well, the birds don't fly off with them. And what's this? That is a lactator ration, a special ration designed for sows to produce milk uh, after they've given birth. So it's a vegetarian diet? It's a vegetarian diet, yes. Well, we've seen mum and the piglets, so what have we got here? These are piglets that so, uh, just actually come from uh, the unit we were at last. These are the wiener arcs, this is the, the accommodation for the piglets. Uh, they stay here for eight weeks until they're 35 stroke 40 kilos. 
we're trying to keep them three zones. Cozy, cozy, warm, warm and a cool zone. So letting the piglets make up their mind of where they, what they actually want. There's something special that we do do is acidify the water. We put vinegar in the water to change the level of the pH. Uh, doing that, we've been able to basically stop using antibiotics for any enteric problems, any scouring problems. I've decided not to join you um, there, but um, tell me about these pigs. We've gone from the um, weaned pigs, so they, they now come here. Yes, uh, these pigs now have been on site eight and a half weeks. So you can see how fast they've grown. Uh, there's actually 250 pigs in here. I won't call them piglets. Uh, we'll call them store pigs at this stage. Right. And these pigs are all ready to be transported to the next stage, and that's in, into big straw bands, deep straw. Basically the same principle as we have here, but undercover. And they're there for how many weeks before they go off to slaughter? We've got 11 or 12 weeks, so we're looking at a pig at 105 to 110 kilos live weight. And in terms of transportation to uh, Moulton, which is the abattoir, how far is that? How long is that? Half an hour to three quarters of an hour away. <laughs> I mean, you, you could say you're born and bred in Yorkshire. How do you feel confident as a supplier uh, to the customer in terms of what we can deliver to them? Uh, you, you won't get a better standard of uh, animal welfare than we're seeing today. So you, you must have absolute confidence that you've heard how passionate Ian is about his pig production. He, he loves the way he keeps pigs. He's always looking to progress and deliver better ideas uh, to, to ensure that the welfare standards are continually being improved. So yeah, look at these pigs today, fresh air and fun. You're looking at them spending over half their life outdoors, um, being fed a beautiful vegetarian diet here, plenty of manipulable material here. You don't need to add extra. They've got the straw, the earth to root around in. They're in their family group, so you can clearly see that they're, um, they're, they're enjoying life. So we're looking to produce a pig here of uh, fantastically high welfare standards, but also focusing on the great meat-eating quality that the consumer is looking for.